Hi everyone, in this video you will learn how to set up a business workflow automation software like N810 for production leveraging Nginx as reverse proxy. This is part 8 of our 9 part mini series on mastering N810 production like setup on AWS free tier. If you are new here, be sure to check out the previous videos in this playlist to get the full picture. We are almost nearing end to this mini course and so far we have discussed how to set up your AWS free tier account and then we have set up the MFA and used AWS budget for effective cost control and we have discussed all the prerequisites before we proceed and spin up our first EC2 instance under AWS free tier. Then we have prepared the server by installing all the must tools and then we have registered a free domain for life to use it with our NATN. In the last part, we have also set up the much required RDS AWS managed database to use it with our NATN. Make sure to watch from the start of the playlist to get a smoother learning experience. Click on this video to get started. All the nine parts of this mini course will be released on this YouTube channel over next nine days and i promise you will learn a lot through this mini course so make sure to subscribe to the channel and don't forget to press the bell icon to get notified as soon as i release the next video to make things even easier for the course i have put together a aws free tier setup checklist for nhn workflow automation engine that you can download from the link in the description this guide will help you follow along the course to avoid common mistake with that said let's get started in this video we are going to continue set up our n8 instance now, i have made it very straightforward and easy to do the complete production setup using just one script so you just need to run one script and that will set up everything for you so in this ec2 instance i have already kept the script which is called setup n810 docker.s so this is a cell script which does a lot of things which i'll explain in just a few minutes uh, but before i do that just want to let you know that you can access this entire script uh, just use the link in the video description below and you will be able to get the script now what this script is doing is very simple um, you just need to run the script by providing your domain or ip i'll show you what that means your rds host your postgres user that we have just created in the last video with the rds setup give the postgres password and the postgres db instance so i'll just show you how exactly you get all those information and you run the script let's quickly go through the script what it is doing it at the first what it is doing is just generating an encryption key this is really important i'll show you why this encryption key is used it's installing a PostgreSQL client, connect to the RDS instance and set up everything that is needed, all the tables and everything that is, and the schema that is all needed by Inhitant. So it will, for that reason, we are installing the PostgreSQL client. Then it is ensuring that the Docker is installed. Usually we have done the Docker installation already, but I have added the script here as well in case due to some reason your docker installation is not completed or you have forgot to do that or you are following a manual step that and you have forgot to install docker you can use this and this script will ensure that docker and docker compose is installed then it's very important it's importing the rds ssl certificate because the rds connection is secure remember you are making a production setup so everything needs to be secure on https so we are downloading the rds certificate and then it is setting the encryption key that we have generated earlier, setting all the necessary RDS specific environment variable. And then it is generating a, another script file, which is called initdata.sh. And in this initdata.sh or shell script, we are creating the database, giving all the permission to the Postgres user so that N18 can make use of that RDS instance. Once this PostgreSQL setup is completed, what we are doing is we are creating the Docker Compose file within, from within the script and we are specifying those RDS details in the Docker Compose file with the encryption key. 
Now the important thing that we are doing is because we are setting up it as a production, we are also using in a in worker node and as well as we are also using Redis. So why we are using that is because uh, through Redis we are also maintaining a database for queue management and that is where the worker node also comes into picture. For example, you have a scheduled task that you want to run like let's say every hour. So that task will be queued through Redis and in a and worker will pick up the task and process it. So that's that is a standard production setup. So that means you can add as many in and worker node as you want across different EC2 instance. So this is how we are making the setup. Then we are ensuring that Nginx is already installed. This should have been already installed uh, as part of the setup script that I have already shared in the previous video. Uh, but we are just ensuring that everything is done and set up uh, in the final step. And then we are modifying the Nginx configuration to ensure we are using the domain name properly, whatever domain name that we have created as part of our free domain setup video. All right, I just watch that if you haven't seen that yet. And then we are loading our Nginx configuration. Next, we are installing Certbot. Again, Certbot is installed as part of the setup, but we are just ensuring the Certbot is installed. Why we are installing Certbot? Because this bot will ensure that you are getting the certificate for your domain name from Let's Encrypt and it also manages it so for example if your certificate is gonna expire in six months in six months time the bot will actually get a new certificate so we are doing all this setup and then we are just re restarting the nginx to ensure everything is smooth now, how do you run it right so what we will do we will just give this script some permission so that's it so now it has executed the permission and all we have to do is is just copy this command we just copy the command we, we do sudo you can use sudo you, you may not but i prefer to use sudo because otherwise you might hit some permission issue or something and then in the domain name or ip we will provide the domain name that we had used earlier so if you remember we have created this domain in an earlier video this is a free domain that you can have for life so please follow that guide so what we will do is just provide the domain name here of our RDS host. If you remember, we have copied the RDS host from the RDS database details. So just copy it once again, and specify it here. We have to specify our Postgres user. So that was Postgres. And then we have to specify the Postgres password. If you remember, we have copied the password when we were modifying the instance in the RDS setup video, please watch the video if you haven't watched it yet. And then we have to provide the DB name, which is an ATM test database. That's it. And then this, then you run the script, it should turn all the setup. Let's try it. It could not find because I haven't given the bash. So it's extracting the ATM image now. So we can see that it was able to connect to the Postgres database and it has able to create the database and grant all the permissions as well which is good the only thing that remains is just running the unit and docker instance now it's installing third bot i think there was some error let's see what is this error is sure why it's not able to i think the token issue step has failed so if we open the script let's see where it has failed i think it has failed in this step so let's do one thing Let's try to fetch the certificate once again. So if you face this issue, I think the best way to resolve it is to .conf and let's try and find where it is trying to load the certificate. I think it's trying to load it from, from here. So let me comment it out first. I haven't used the roots, so I have to use root here. So search so sudo and then on it. So then I will rerun the script once again. Rerun the script. Let's hope it will work this time. Now it worked. So basically what has happened was I think the configuration file was already updated because I was trying previously already. You may not face the same issue, but if you face the issue, you know what you need to do. Just 
uncomment this line from the nginx conf d .conf file just comment out the xn443 ssl and ssl certificate and key because when third bot is trying to fetch the certificate from let's encrypt it first checks if nginx have already a configuration specified and it tries to load that configuration and that is where it's failing so just comment that out and we try the script and it should work now let's give an email address now it's requesting the certificate it has added the certificate and now i think nginx has started properly so all i have to do is now again just open the conf again and you should see that now after running the script your comment out is gone so that means you don't need to fix it so if you're facing the issue make sure to open this particular path etc nginx contain and make sure to comment out this three file and then rerun the script and that should work okay again if you face issue join the community and then i'll give you access to the private group where you can raise your query so now it's time to check whether our n810 is running properly or not so i will do sudo docker ps so i just do docker logs minus f sudo i can see that the n810 is started it has done all the database setup and everything so i should be able to access my n810 instance now as you can see the n810 is loaded and we are running and we are running our n810 worker node and the redis and our database is as i said is rds so this marks the complete setup of production light in a n810 setup i will continue to improve it we will do aws kms managed key management and everything else which is really required for your production setup and i will keep on adding more videos into the playlist or into the course so watch out for the playlist or the course as uh, if a new video gets added in your future so that's it for now i'll see you on the next one if you're finding this content helpful don't forget to hit that like button so that the mini course reaches out to a lot wider audience like you and also subscribe to the channel to stay updated with the future videos in this series so that's it for today now you know how to set up n810 as your business workflow automation software for production use for next 12 months with aws free tier for absolutely free in the next video we will discuss what lies ahead now that you have installed the n810 for your business use and of course if you haven't downloaded it yet don't forget to grab your free aws free tier n810 setup checklist from the link in the description below that will help make your learning experience and setup process even smoother so make sure you have subscribed and downloaded the free checklist to follow along seamlessly and thanks for watching take care and i'll see you on the next one